commented and I said, what IPAs, what income producing activities do you guys want to like learn more about? Do you want training on? And so I did get some feedback about that. So we are going to talk about expanding and connecting a little bit before we go into questions. So if you guys have specific questions, post them in the chat so that after I'm done, we can roll um, over to those and we can see what you guys want to know more about. But let's talk expanding and connecting for a sec, okay? So first of all, if you guys are not following the Success Club system tracker, that is what you will be doing every day, okay? So that is, that's what grows your business. That's essentially the coaching activities um, is what's on there. So if you're like, what the crap is that? That's your first homework is go print that off. Go watch my training I just did at Super Friday. I explained the whole entire sheet. That is what you do to grow your business, okay? So number the, the number two section on that tracker is talking about um, expanding your network, connecting with people, building relationships, sending messages, um, inviting people to your groups, following up with people. So those are the actual things that are like the bread and butter. That is what a lot of people skip and then they wonder why their business isn't growing. It's because you're not doing those things. So, so if you're, you're probably not, Never mind. We have this success club thread um, with coaches that were in the beta test group for this tracker and Ashley McClellan, I'm pretty sure she's on. Yes, she's on. So Ashley was sharing earlier, like you, how she can bust through a power hour in 18 minutes. And everyone was like mind blown, like, oh my gosh, it's taking me hours to do like all of these things. And she's like, you guys, this isn't like all I'm doing. I am also working out and doing PD and returning messages and doing all of that stuff outside of those 18 minutes. But she's like got it down pat where if she has this much time, she knows how to do the most important things, expanding, connecting, sending invites every single day. And I have zero doubts that that is why she is a five-star elite coach because no matter what life has looked like every day she does the most important things that move her business forward and so if if you just like get super strong in those areas you'll figure out your voice you'll figure out how to post you'll figure out um where kind of your sweet spot is as far as how you do your stories and how many calls to action you do and all of those things you'll figure out as you go okay but if you can just really hone in on learning these fundamental things, you guys will see progress. You'll see momentum build. You'll see, um, you'll start to feel the benefits of that personal relationship. And I think that's the most important part is if you're just in this to sell stuff, you're not going to be successful. You have to dig deeper. And that's what these essential activities are essentially like making us do we're having to expand we're having to meet new friends we're having to actually care about them and be interested in their life and get to know people and then when we do get to know people we then get to extend an invite to help to help them on their journey to have them join us so let's talk expanding for a sec i'm just going to talk about my flow and what i do okay so this is a constant you, like it's always evolving. There's no right or wrong, right or wrong way to expand your network. Okay. You just have to somehow get more eyeballs on what you're doing and you have to meet new people, whether that's in person or whether that's on social media. If you're like a super people person, then heck go to play dates, go to the park, go to the trampoline park, go to all these places and meet people in real life. Like that's legit too. That's just not me. I'm like afraid of people in real life. Okay. So what I do is on social media. So I will teach you what I know because that's what I do. So all I've done is I've gotten first, you need to get very clear on who you actually want to meet. So what types of people do you want to connect with? That's the beauty of this business. We don't have to talk to anyone we don't want to talk to. But if you have a, like in real life, you have a certain type of person that you vibe with. Like if you go to a party or you go to a church event or whatever, you're going to naturally be drawn to certain people. That's essentially all we're doing on social media too, is we're finding those types of people. We're interacting with them. We're just being interested in their life and what they're putting out there. And then they will naturally 
be interested in what you're doing because you're going to chat back and forth and be a normal human. And then when they see you working out or when they see you sharing your personal growth stuff or when they see you sharing your team stuff or whatever, they're either going to ask you a question like, hey, how do you do this? Or what workout are you doing? Or how do you work out from home with four kids? Like that seems hard. How do you make it work? Naturally, things come up or you will have warmed up the relationship enough that you can just naturally be like, Hey girl, I don't know if you saw my last post about my group I'm doing in February, but you'd be so fun to do this with. Do you want me to get you some info? So someone asked in, in, I think it was my PS page. Someone asked, I don't know when to transition from like connecting to sending an invite. And so I have two things to say about this. When you're connecting with people, um, and you're just getting to know them. Two things. One, like I talked about, it either naturally comes up in the conversation if you are actually digging deep into the conversation. So you guys have to really get deeper than just surface level like remarks back and forth. So I think a lot of people get stuck at just like the cute shirt. Where'd you get it? Oh, I like your dog. Oh, blah, blah, like very surface level. Those things are kind of okay to just like start, like to warm it up a little bit. But once you're in a conversation, and that's why I love stories so much. I love going into people's stories and watching them because then you get a feel for who they really are. And when you, and you, when you respond to their story, it goes to their direct messages and then it's a personal message. And then it's super easy to converse back and forth. So that's why I like to do that. And then it's simply just talking to someone. Okay. So do not overthink this. It is not okay. When, when can I transition to beach body? It's just talking to someone. Some of those conversations are going to turn to beach body. Some of those conversations are going to talk about nothing that's related to beach body whatsoever. And that's totally fine. All of them are purposeful and you're just getting to know people. Okay. But you can get good at leading the conversation, okay? And this is kind of like a skill. It's a skill that you'll develop and it's something that you'll learn as you go. You can get good at when, when you ask questions and when you're in a conversation and they make a remark about your workout or whatever, don't just say like, okay, for instance, let me give you an, an example. If someone said like, okay, <laughs> this is for real. Someone the other day was like, oh my gosh, you have such nice legs. <laughs> I was like, oh, and okay. So I could have just been like, thanks girl. You're so sweet. But I was like, okay, that was really nice of her to like go out of her way and say that. So I went to her page, liked and commented on a few of her things, saw what she was about, went back to my messages. And I was like, girl, you're so sweet. How long have you been? I don't remember what I asked her, but I asked her something specific to what she had shared and posted about. And it naturally led the conversation to learning more about her because she can learn all about me from what I post and what I share, but I want to learn more about her so that I can see all we're doing. You guys is we're solving a problem. Okay. We, we have a, we have a solution for health. We have a solution for fitness. We have a solution for nutrition. We have a solution for financial, um, financial, like everything, if they're struggling financially, we have a so solution for like mental well-being. We have a solution for accountability. We have a solution for friendships and community. Like, like, look, like just, do you guys understand like what you have to offer when you're talking to these people? Like, cause if you don't, that's the first thing you want to get clear about. And then when you're talking to them, you're simply asking them questions, learning about them. And when they say, oh yeah, I totally struggle with that. Or, oh my gosh, I can't ever figure out what to feed my kids. They're so picky and it's just too hard. I just have given up. I suck at nutrition, whatever. You can be like, dude, have you heard of the 2B Mindset nutrition program? That's been a game changer for me. And it's just natural, right? So the more you figure out and you get to know people, the easier and more natural it is to say, Da, 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 da. This is what works for me. Have you ever looked into it or have you ever done it or have you ever whatever? Okay. Um, so lots of your invites will come naturally when you're in conversations with these people that you're connecting with. Now, if they don't come up, if they don't come up naturally and you're just talking about like, for instance, yesterday, if you have, if you watch my stories, 
yesterday I was talking about Florida because that's where I'm going to do my next um, team retreat. So I was asking them like, when should we go? What month is good for weather and blah, blah, blah. So I was getting all of these responses back about weather and Florida and Disney trips. And they were telling me about all their stories. And none of those led to like coaching or a challenge. And that's totally fine because I was just getting to know people. They were helping me. I was ch chatting back and forth with them and whatever. But guess what I did do? When they responded, I would go back to their page. And if they looked like the type of girl that I would connect with and just be friends with, they went right into my February ch like challenger collection. Because that's how I do things. My structure is in January, I have a February challenger collection. This is all on Instagram and I have a February coach collection. So when I'm talking to normal people and I'm expanding my network and I'm finding these really solid girls that I would just love to get to know and would be super fun to work with in my groups or coaching on my team. If I talk to them or find their page, they go immediately into my February collection so that I can then connect on a deeper level with more intention. I don't just like lose them in cyberspace. They go somewhere. Okay, so this is something you need to hear loud and clear. Your people have to go somewhere, whether it's on a list or in a collection or on Google Streak or in TeamZ, they have to go somewhere. Otherwise, you have nothing to work with when you go to sit down to do your power hour. Every single time, if you start from scratch, you're going to be like, okay, now what do I do? So if you have this system in place, it's going to be a game changer, okay? So when these girls were responding and giving me their tips, I would go back to their page, check them out, make sure they weren't a coach, make sure they were kind of like cool that I would want to chat with and spend my time around and they would go right to this collection. So that I, when I go to connect every day during my power hour, I go to these collections first and that's who I'm connecting with first. All of these girls in my collections. Then if they haven't already, if like an invite hasn't come up naturally, then I will in February when I'm filling my group, I will just go through that entire collection and every single one of them will get an invite. Not like after I connect with them a certain amount of times or whatever, like I've, those girls that are in there, that's who I'm focusing on all month. I'm connecting with them. I'm getting to know them. If they're not my vibe, once I like get them in there, they, I just, remove them like that's totally fine but if they are i chat with them all month i just get to know who they are blah 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 and then in february if it hasn't already come up about a group they get my whatever invite i come up with hey girl i don't know if you saw my february group we're total we're going to be focusing on self-love and confidence and just really taking care of ourselves as women i don't know if this is something you want to do but i wanted to personally invite you because you'd be so fun to have in there and that's not going to be weird because I've already been connecting with them for a month, right? So that, that's all I do. And then taking it one step further, I send all of those invites and I don't track who I invite because the tracking is already done. They're in the collection that I invite. The tracking happens after when they say, yeah, girl, send me some info. Then they go directly into my follow-up challenger collection. So that if they don't follow through, they don't sign up right away, they don't, whatever, they're at least in another solid place where I know they have somewhat of an interest. And at some point, like those are people I continue to get to know, I continue to check in with. And when I come upon my group ending or whatever, I just simply say, hey girl, I don't know if it's the right time, but I wanna check back in with you. Make sure you didn't think I forgot about you. I'd love to have you in here. Did you still wanna get some info or did you still wanna jump in my group? And then I have a solid place to follow up with all of those people, wham, bam, super fast, okay? Um, do you send post a call to action before or after you send those invites? So I always post a call to action. Like the first thing I do when I'm like getting ready to fill a group is do a call to action, always. I do it on my Facebook, I do it on my Instagram, I do it in my stories. And then I back that up with all the personal invites behind the scenes. So yes. And then speaking of calls to action, I'm also soft jabbing like every single day. So if you haven't read Gary Vaynerchuk's um, jab, 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 right hook, 
He talks about jab, 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 and then you do a right hook. So you're jab, jab, jabbing, like breadcrumbing what you're doing. You're doing your stories. You're doing your, um, you're doing your shout outs of your challengers that are killing it. You're doing your breadcrumbing what's going on. And then you do the call to action, right hook. Okay. I'm filling a group, five more spots, bam, bam, bam. That's the right hook. But in between that, you can soft jab and be like, and be like, shoot me a message if you want to jump in. Like that's just super like at the end of your stories, posting your stories, doing a little thing about you talking at the end. Oh my gosh, today kicked my butt. I'm loving it. My girls in my group are killing it. You can totally still jump in with us. Shoot me a message if you want some info. Like that's a simple, simple soft jab. Like just slide it in there. It's not like weird and it's not in your face. And if they're not interested, they'll just keep scrolling and it's no big deal. Um, but I'm doing that like almost every day, like in my stories, when I'm doing my workout, like every single, almost every single day, I'm like, I'm like, you can still join us, girlfriend, swipe up, get some info, like every single day. So that is also a thing that I think freaks new coaches out is they're like, I don't want to be weird. I don't want to be pushy, but you can do it in, with stories. You guys, like I was, I had a one-on-one -on -one call earlier. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I was like, I don't even remember what coaching was like before stories. Like Instagram stories make life so much easier, so much easier. So if you aren't leveraging the crap out of them, you need to. And I know some new coaches like freak out over talking to their phone and they feel so weird. Just pretend you're talking to your best friend, like pretend your best friend's on the other side of your phone and you're just talking to her and you're super pumped and blah, blah, blah. And who cares? Like just who cares? have fun with it. Yes. I always talk to my imaginary friends and I tell them that and it's the best. Like it's so fun. And that is why you will start getting so many messages that are like, I just feel like I know you. Like, I feel like we're best friends and we've never even talked. And I'm like, I've been talking to you every day in my stories because you are my best friend. You just didn't know that, you know? So just don't overthink stories. You guys just be goofy, be you, be whatever. Um, and it basically, speaking of stories, it's just like a day in the life. You're simply journaling who you are, what you're doing, how you're spending your time. But the thing that you guys need to think about is who are you posting for? So I want to post for those one, like two groups of people. And, and this goes both for my posts and for my stories. I'm posting to the woman that is struggling that needs some inspiration, that needs some support, that needs an answer, doesn't know what to do, and is looking for something. I'm posting for her, but then I'm also posting for the woman that is like, gosh, I really think what she does looks cool, but I don't think I could do it. I have no experience. I, I know she's, she's got it figured out, but I can never do this. I'm also talking to that person, so I want them to see one, why you want to join our group and why you want to be a part of the journey. And two, how you could do this. Because if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I'm sharing how I'm getting up early, how I'm fitting in my PD, how I'm, figure, how I'm fitting in my scripture study, how I'm fi fitting in mom life, how I'm fitting in my workouts, how I'm doing mentor calls, how I'm fitting coaching in the cracks, how we're doing dinner. I'm fitting all of that in and helping people see, um, like I could probably do that. You know, I, I don't want to overcomplicate it. My, this is really, I'm super basic. You guys all know that, but I want that to come across in my stories that I could do that. Like I want people to watch what I'm doing and think they could do this too, because anyone could. So make sure when you're posting your stories, you're thinking about those things. Who am I talking to? What message do I want to share? Um, and I had a, one of my mentor calls today, she was, um, she was saying, it takes me so long to do hype type videos to like upload her stories and then kind of fix them up and do them cute and fancy and make them entertaining. And I'm like, I know, like I did hype type for a long time because it's fun. Like there's music and they're sped up and it's more entertaining. But the past couple of weeks, I have just been doing boring upload, put a little text on it, do my video for my workouts, not sped up, not anything, just real time. And what I'm learning is I'm getting way more comments about those ones because one, they can hear Shanti in the background. So I didn't realize that so many people didn't know that I actually worked out to a TV screen. 
They just thought I was like doing my own thing. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like eye opening. I need to just simplify and make it basic because also number two, I don't want someone to be like, I don't know how she does all these fancy videos. That looks really cool, but I have no clue how to do that. So I can never do what she does. I want them to watch my stories and be like, basic. I could do that. <laughs> I can handle that. So those are just all little things to think about as you're, as you're sharing. Um, okay. Are there any? <laughs> yes, exactly. I love you. Okay. Are there any other specific questions? So expanding, did you guys get that message? Have a system. Oh, I'll tell you like how, how I go about it. And I, I, this is in all the training. So I feel like stuff gets redundant, but then clearly like the message is missed somewhere because people aren't doing it. So my favorite way to expand you guys is to find some very solid accounts. This is in your niche. This is fitness people outside of Beachbody. This is decorators. If you like home decor, this is, um, brands, it's nutrition things. It's, um, bloggers, it's teacher stuff. If you're a teacher, it's whatever you're interested in or whatever you're like attracting. You find some really solid accounts that have like 10 to 75,000 followers. And then you're simply going to their followers and make sure they're like legit some people have like weird followers make sure they're like normal women that you that would you would want to connect with and you're not overthinking it you're going to their following and you're going follow 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 for like 50 people then they will naturally come back and follow you or if they don't you'll start seeing their stuff in your feed because you're following them and you can weed people out that way if you start to see people um, and they're like, not your vibe. They're not your jam unfollow. If you see people that you like and you're like, Oh my gosh, this girl's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I totally like her. She goes into a collection. So like you, you have this flow. So every day you spend not that much time expanding because you're follow, 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 following, right? Then you're spending intentional time connecting and you should be able to connect with your collections that you have and your newsfeed because your newsfeed is an interest list in and of itself because you are following with purpose. So if you see anyone in your, in your newsfeed that is not someone you'd wanna work with, unfollow. Your, like social media is your storefront. Like this is your job. You're not, just, it's, you're not just following a million people to follow a million people. You're following people so that you can, it's kind of a numbers game, so that you can find the people that you really wanna dig deeper with and then build the relationship with. So use your newsfeed when you're connecting, not to scroll, you're never scrolling, you guys. Never again are you on your phone not connecting. Like if you're on your phone, you're liking, you're commenting, you're messaging people. If you're not doing that, then get the crap off your phone and go be with your family. Either work or don't work, okay? On your phone, you're working. Off your phone, you're being an awesome person, not on your, not like distracted. Okay. That's one of the things that I think will be a game changer for you. If you master it early is the art of intention. Like you're either doing something purposeful. And if you're on your phone, scrolling through your IG newsfeed, it's on purpose. You're connecting, you're finding new people, you're putting them in collections, you're messaging, you're interacting, you're engaging, you're responding to messages, you're responding to comments. You're doing purposeful things. You're not just looking at stuff ever again. Okay. Um, 